Hello, our dear viewers. Welcome to Connect with Mary. I'm your host, Rita Leti Shaltaya, and I take this opportunity to thank you for always keeping it at Uganda Catholic Television. Good news to all. So, um, before we start off with our program, let's offer our heartfelt salutations to His Holiness, Pope Francis, to His Grace, the Archbishop of Kampala, to the board of the Uganda Episcopal Conference, chaired by His Lordship. Uh, Anthony Ziwa and to the spiritual directors of the Legion of Mary. Let's not forget those within the Snatos of Uganda, Reverend Father Mobiru Roni and Reverend Father Protez. Yes, our dear viewers, today we have a mind blowing topic to talk about, and with me in the house is Brother Francis from um, Queen of Peace, Namgongo. Brother, you're most welcome to the studios of UCTV. Thank you, sister. Thank yes, you, sister Rita. Yes. Uh, please say a word hi to our viewers out there. And thereafter, you will lead us in an opening prayer. Okay, thank you. Yes. yes thank you, uh, sister, for welcoming me. Uh, my okay. name is Francis Musinguzi Kamara. I'm the president of Mary Queen of Peace, Namugongo Presidium. Okay. Uh, greetings from Namugongo. Wow. Uh, and... Uh, we, 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 we hope to see many of you come. Indeed. <laughs> yes, and I'm also glad to be in the studios of Uganda Catholic Television. Yeah, you must welcome. And uh, for me, I will send greetings to my parish priest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, Father Lugwega and mm. uh, our spiritual directors in the Legion of Mary, mm. Musinya Katende, wow. and all the priests in Namgongo who, who help us in the Legion of Mary to do our work. Okay. And all the, the, the members of the Legion countrywide. Okay, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Please so, take us through an opening prayer. Okay, and then let we us start humble our ourselves and we pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God our Father, I want to thank you for this day. I want to thank you for the gift of life. I want to thank you for all the good things that you've given us. We ask you, Lord, to bless us, and bless us, especially in this program. Send us your Holy Spirit to guide us, so that in all that we do, we may give you glory. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mary, Queen of Peace. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks so much for that wonderful opening prayer, brother. And yes, back to our dear viewers. Today, like I told you earlier, we are going to talk about a special episode, which is uh, the seven sorrows of Mary. So we all know that uh, the Mary, Mary, the mother of Jesus, is uh, a revered person or figure in Christianity. Her role extends from her biological relationship with Jesus. So here we see that her seven sorrows uh, have been an integral part in her story and also provide a relevant significance to us today. So today as we are going to talk about these seven sorrows, as Brother Francis is going to help discuss more about these seven sorrows, we should take a, a look and know that um, they offer valuable insights to her faith trust and devotion. So our dear viewers, join us as we dwell and discover more about uh, Mary's role uh, with regards to her seven sorrows and the significance today. So our uh, brother, we are going to talk about uh, these seven sorrows. So first, uh, let's uh, paint a picture to our dear viewers out there. What are these seven sorrows of Mary we are talking about? What, are the, what is the history behind and the origin to this devotion of the seven sorrows of Mary? Yes, thank you, sister. Um, before I talk about the origin of the seven sorrows, mm -hmm. I want us to first understand the role of Mary. Mm. The role of Mary in the history of the salvation. Okay. She was given the role of giving birth to the Savior. Okay. This wasn't an easy role. Yes, true. And it's a role that came uh, specifically to her because God had prepared her for that role. Mm. But also to understand Mary, you need to have a clear understanding between a relationship between a mother and a and son. son. That's why I think many of the people devoted to Mary are women, mm. because they understand that <laughs> devotion between yes, of motherhood. motherhood, mother mm. and, and, and son. son. Yes. So in all that we discuss, mm. 
we should be able to know the, the, that relationship, that touch of having your own son, having your son. Mm. So that's how Mary, the, that's the relationship we should look at. It's okay. a natural. So the history of the seven sorrows, mm. uh, seven sorrows is one of the devotions mm. uh, the, that we have to Mary. There are so many devotions. Yes. But uh, the history uh, starts with uh, the Servites. There is a congregation called the Servants of Mary, okay. commonly known as Servites that was started around the 13th century. Okay. And they are, like the name suggests, servants of Mary. Mm. But later on, uh, they had a special devotion to the sorrows of Mary. Yeah. If you see the story of Mary, there are so many sorrows, yeah. as we are going to, uh, to look, to, to, to look discuss, at them, to yes. look at them. Mm. You will see that Mary's life was filled with sorrows because mm. the son's role was a, a role of coming to save. Yes. And there was a lot that was going to happen. Mm. So Mary, um, the Savites thought they should have a special devotion mm. with, uh, with uh, the sorrows of Mary. Okay. And uh, that's how they started the Rosary of the Seven Sorrows. Mm. Originally, the first Rosary was uh, the, the one, the normal Rosary we say, which the was one. started by the Dominicans. Okay. So the Dominican Rosary had actually been there. Mm. And then the Rosary of the Seven Sorrows was something that was developed based on what? Because the other Rosary is the life of Jesus. Yes. This one was basically the life of Mary. Of Mary. Yes. Wow. Yeah. So that's basically short history on uh, how the Rosary of the Seven Sorrows. Mm. And uh, the Servites, was, it's a congregation that was started by seven youth. Oh, really? Yes, seven youth just started the congregation. Wow. So the youth can uh, see can that. Also can also copy that. that. And yeah. Yes. yeah, so. Okay. So, um, brother, you talked about uh, this uh, relationship of motherhood. And we see that Mother Mary uh, already shows it uh, through these seven sorrows. So uh, what are some of these? Uh, can you take us through the seven sorrows such that our dear viewers out there get to know what are these seven sorrows we are talking about and how do they relate to her legacy, Mother Mary's legacy of motherhood? Okay, so the seven sorrows. Uh, mm. The first sorrow is uh, the sorrow of the Simeon revealing to Mary okay. that she's going to be a, a sword is going to pierce her wow. life. Mm. Simeon, uh, when when at the presentation of Jesus, Simeon, mm. when Simeon saw Jesus, because the angel had, uh, the God had revealed to him that he will not die. Until, until he, he sees. sees. So when Simeon saw, mm. he was happy because he knew, he said, oh, at last all powerful master, <laughs> yeah, I, yes, can now go. I can now go. In but peace. then told Mary, mm. ha, you don't know what you're going to go through. There is, mm. You're going to go through a lot. Mm. And to Mary, that was uh, the first blow. Say, hey, but I've given birth to a savior. You know, I was reflecting, I was like, but really, Mary was the mother of God. Yes. Why did God allow her to go, to through, go through all that pain? Sorrow, yeah. Yes. And Simeon reveals this mm. that you are going to go through pain. Mm. And yeah, that's the first sorrow. Oh, so it's a prophecy. So it's yeah, it was a prophecy. Simeon's prophecy. Simeon's prophecy. Okay. So they, they, they say Simeon announces the suffering destiny of, of, of uh, Mary. Okay. Which is uh, Luke chapter 2, verse 34 to 35. Wow. So you can check and, and, mm. and read. And the, they, yeah. they refer to the yeah. Bible. So they, the, all these sorrows are biblical. There is mm. nothing that is not that biblical. That is non-biblical. Yeah, they are all biblical. Okay. So the second sorrow is the Mary's escape to Egypt. You know mm. the story of uh, Herod, Herod trying to look for the child Baby Jesus. Jesus. And, yeah, so the angel appeared and uh, told... Um, Joseph and Mary, that you need to go. Mm. So you just imagine as a mother, you have a, a, young child, <laughs> a young child. And then they say, now you need to go because mm. you need to protect the, the child. The child. Mm. Yeah. And uh, so many children had been killed. Yeah, mm. the, 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 all the children who were below the one year yes. were being killed. Mm. So they had to, the escape to Egypt was, so you can imagine the distance from 
<laughs> from uh, wherever they were going back to Israel. Mm. I mean, going back to, so to Egypt. Egypt. It wasn't a, 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 an easy journey. Yes. So that is the second sorrow. And we can read from Matthew chapter 2, verse mm. 13 to 14. Mm. Mm. Then the third sorrow is um, Mary six Jesus lost in Jerusalem. Okay. For a mother, you can, <laughs> you, the experience is yes. of losing a child. Mm. However, Mary knew this was God. <laughs> yes. But somehow, she would say, but where is my child? Still, humanity comes yeah. in. Where is my child? Mm. And of course, they had gone into big numbers. And, mm. But after they had walked for uh, some days, he realized that he, Jesus was not in, in the group. Of yeah. relatives, of okay. course. Mm. So they had to go back to look for to him. Look for him. Okay. So just imagine you've lost a child, <laughs> and uh, you're going and to look for him amid that big after, after walking all that distance. Yes. So, yeah. So that's um, that's the the, the the third sorrow, mm. which we can read from Luke chapter two, verse forty-three to forty-five. Okay. Now the other sorrow, the fourth sorrow, is uh, Mary meets Jesus as he carries his cross to Calvary. Okay. Now, I think this must have been That is where so the worst painful. begins from. That's where all these other sorrows, I think, because now mm. you see you are condemned. Jesus had been condemned to death and he's mm. carrying a cross yes. and meets the mother. Mm. They say Mary loved Jesus so much more mm. than she loved herself. Okay. Because she actually knew Jesus was God. Mm. But this was her child. And she loved. So imagine seeing your own seeing son. Your own son suffering, suffering. Carrying, carrying the cross, cross. Actually heading to his death. Yes. It must have been so, And so, of course, so and you know that, of course, uh, he's not even to be blamed for whatever they exactly. accused they, him they, of. They, they accused him wrongly. Yes. So we can read that from Luke chapter 23, 26 mm. to 27. Okay. The fifth sorrow is Mary stands near the cross of her son. Okay. So imagine now they, they, they have actually crucified. After crucifixion. After, after the crucifixion. Uh, mm. crucifixion. Mm. So imagine you're looking at your son dying. Mm. Yes. It, 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 it must have been so painful it, for Yes, her. it is. So we, we, we can read that from, uh, from uh, John chapter 19. 25 mm. to 27. Okay. And actually at the cross, that's where we inherit, mm. uh, we inherit the, 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 the uh, Mary as our mother. Oh, yes. So meaning that all these uh, yes. sufferings that mm. we go through, Mary inherits them. <laughs> okay. Because uh, he tells John. Mm. She's your mother. She's your mother. And tells uh, um, uh, Mary, your she's son. Your son yes. So that's where we, we get the inheritance. Yes, okay. So, the sorrow is 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 more it grows to <laughs> the rest of the the rest yes. of the people. Yes. The sixth sorrow is uh, Mary receives into her arms mm. the body of Jesus taken mm. down from the cross. Mm. Many times, our the saints are depicted by some. If you see their saints, you will find a saint, a picture of the saint carrying. The, uh, either holding a cross okay. or with a spear. Spear, yes. For Mary, the common picture is the picture carrying. of carrying the dead son, oh. which is uh, the Pieta. Yes. Which is a very uh, sorrowful. Indeed. Imagine you, you your mother your out mother, there and you're, you're, you're carrying, carrying your, your, your child. child. Who has been because, killed for nothing. Yes, and yeah. usually it's not okay because now usually parents prefer that they, they see their own death before exactly. that of their children. I always pray. I mean, it's a prayer that I <laughs> bury my parents, not them burying me. So it's, <laughs> it is very painful for mm. a parent to True. bury a child. Yes. So this uh, sorrow, the sixth sorrow from mm. Matthew chapter 27, mm. verse 57 to 59. Okay. Then the last sorrow that we read from John 19, 40 to 42 is Mary helps place the body of Jesus in the tomb. Okay. So those are the seven sorrows. Mm. And as the Savites, they thought this having a devotion mm. to these seven sorrows mm. would be something that would help them in their spiritual growth. Okay. And of course, the, the, 
the devotion had to spread out, especially mm. during the 17th century okay. uh, with St. Bernadette, uh, no, St. Bridget, St. Bridget, uh, St. Alphonsus uh, during their times, mm. that's when they, they, uh, the devotion actually started spreading to okay. the rest of the world. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Thank you, brother, for, for telling us more about those seven sorrows. And indeed, we see that Mother Mary had to face a lot. Mm -hmm. Through those seven sorrows, we see them as if they are just few, seven, but really they, they indeed are pierce someone's heart and deep, that too deep. So with these seven sorrows, um, what message do they convey? Uh, do they convey that um, uh, about the importance of, we see, uh, compassion, empathy, and resilience? What do we learn from these seven sorrows with regards to those three aspects? Uh, before I answer that, there is uh, somewhere I read, St. Alphonsus mm. said that these sorrows were so painful okay. that if this pain was spread out to the other people, mm. none of them would survive. <laughs> exactly. <by laughs> Even the, if that's they true. were spread out to divide them among yes. the other Even if one humanity. gets one, one. Yes. yes. So it, it was so painful that, um, that humanity wouldn't survive okay. because it was part of the plan of salvation. Mm. But what lessons do we learn in terms mm. of resilience, uh, mm. compassion, compassion and empathy? One is I think Mary is a mother of compassion, mother mm. of resilience yes. that we should learn from her. Many times we also go through uh, challenges yes. and we, we, we complain to God mm. and say, but why? Why? Uh, so Mary is a true example. Mm, of, true. of resilience, resilience that even after the first sorrow, the second mm. sorrow, she, she kept on moving on okay. and continued being even with the disciples even mm. after burying the, on the sun. Yes. Continued because she knew the, the, that, that was, was very her role. Yes. And so it's a, an example that we should all look out to. Yes. And I think uh, the founders of the, the devotion, that is one of the things they were looking at to mm say, I think this must be a very true devotion, a devotion that can help us yes. in, uh, in, in serving Mary, mm. because the servants of Mary. So mm. for all of us who want to serve Mary, I think it's a devotion that we need to take on. Okay. Yeah. So when we see that uh, Mother Mary indeed uh, was so compassionate, uh, remember, allowing your own son, uh, the only son you get, to die for the rest of others, uh, how can we uh, help our dear people out there to get to acquaint these into their own lives? Uh, do you think um, people should try to adopt uh, this, uh, this virtue of compassionate, being compassionate towards others, that no matter what, uh, though others are facing this, I can do this for their sake. I want to give a, a, a small example. Mm. Many times when uh, parents have one child mm. and the child says, I'm going to go to the seminary. <laughs> yes. The children are like, but how? Mm. You are the only child. You're the only child. You're the only child. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So uh, it's, it's a real true example that we need to, that this was the only child. Mary yes. Had. But because of the role the son mm, had, yes. there is nothing. She, actually, Mary would not stop it okay. because God had planned. Mm. So this is something we need to learn in terms of once it's God's plan, mm. let it be. Okay. Let it be. We should let yeah, it let be. Let it be and actually support. So God allowed Mary to go through this so that she can experience what the experience of the son, the mm. son, what this because dying for the sins of Others, our sins, yes, was not easy, mm, it true. wasn't easy. Mm. The pain that Jesus went through on the cross mm. was a lot of pain, and again, so, knowing that you're going to die for these people, but uh, still they are going to commit this sin again, so that still hurts a lot because you know, at least give your life to someone who you know is going to change completely, but really, it's inevitable, I think. Yeah. So Mary, Mary gives us a very good example mm. of, of uh, resilience, mm. of, of patience, mm. because she was patient all throughout. Yes. Uh, and nowhere do we read that 
Mary complained or <laughs> said, yes. but really, this mm. is too much. Yes. Yeah. So that's, that's an example. She accepted the she will accepted of God. It, yeah. Mm. Wow. Uh, it has been a wonderful session with you, Brother Francis. And uh, our dear viewers, thanks so much for listening in to this first short break of, uh, of uh, the seven sorrows. I hope we are getting something that let the will of God be done uh, and no, uh, let us not um, be able to uh, fight against it. Let's try to be compassionate to others. Let's try to be resilient and also adopt Mother Mary's virtues into our lives. Uh, let's take a short break and we'll be right back. Yes, hello dear viewers, welcome back from that short break. And before we commence with our program, let's uh, welcome back all those who were with us in the celebration of 50 years in priesthood for our Monsignor Lawrence Kanike, the parish priest, St. Joseph's Catholic Parish, Chengera. It was massive, brother. I don't know if you managed to attend, no. but it was really massive. We thank the organizing committee and together with the parishioners of Chengera for celebrating the wonderful for the golden jubilee of our dear Monsignor Lawrence Kanyike. And also, let's thank the officers of Senatus Uganda who are doing whatever they can in helping out and sponsoring this our program, Connect with Mary. These are the officers of Senatus U of Uganda, uh, spearheaded by the president, uh, Brother Alozias Kiribaki. Thanks so much for the great work. And together with the spiritual directors of the Legion of Mary, we thank you so much for the spiritual guidance you're according us. Uh, still, yet to come, we're still talking about uh, these uh, seven sorrows. And like we had in the first session, we looked at the scripture references where we can relate in the Bible to get these seven sorrows. And Brother Francis helped and di uh, discussed everything in detail and gave you clarity on on where to find these these uh, references and also we know that uh, Mary uh, had to go through a lot so we should also learn to be resilient compassion and uh, compassionate towards others and also patient in all that we do and we should also let our God's will be so a uh, brother back to you again uh we are talking about uh, these seven sorrows of mary but um are there any personal stories or experiences that illustrate uh, the relevance of these seven sorrows uh you could share with our dear viewers out there yes uh uh the seven sorrows mm. currently okay uh, we know them as uh, the, the Rosary of Our Lady of Chibeho. Okay. Because uh, that devotion, the Savites uh, mm. that started, when Mary appeared in, in Chibeho, Rwanda, yes. the, the, the devotion was to, to, to say the, the, the Rosary the, of the Rosary. Seven Sorrows. Okay. And uh, that's why we see now many people uh, mm. trying to get the devotion and they actually know it as the rosary of our lady of chibeho okay that's common mm. so uh, the people around understand that as uh, the rosary of our lady of chibeho because mm. when mary appeared in chibeho uh, trying the message that she came with was mm. to say the rosary okay of the seven sorrows. seven sorrows yes so that um, <coughs> the, for to, to be saved mm. so many people and uh for those who have visited Chibeho, yes. unfortunately I've not, mm. but uh, I Me know too. so many. <laughs> yes. We should go. Yes, many we people, should. Many people who have visited Chibeho will have uh, testimony. Yes. People who have uh, had uh, all kinds of trouble, mm. all kinds of uh, challenges who have visited Chibeho, they will come and give uh, testimony mm. on how the seven sorrows, the seven sorrows has, has um, then yeah. one does eh? they are also the 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 the, the gifts the, the rewards that were given to saint bridget yes. you can uh, for those who have uh, internet mm. can look at them when you say the seven sorrows there are promises okay. that mary 
gives for oh. yes okay. so the the it's something that people should try out mm. uh, because uh, especially those who have gone to Chebeho even I think I have a, an experience I wouldn't uh, share you know some of these uh, you share experience and yeah. you think you're just being dramatic. <laughs> but <laughs> no, but at least yeah. we can share it with our viewers. And they'll know that this is not drama. But no, I mean, are, yes, mm. there's a time I think I was going through a lot. Mm. And uh, I was at the grotto in Namugongo and okay. uh, we, we were saying the seven sorrows. Actually, I'd never heard about it. Okay. So while we're, I was counting my fingers, mm. and an old lady came and said, don't count your fingers, there is this, uh, so she gave me the rosary, say, next okay. time you come, and so from there I tried to learn how to, to, how to recite, how to recite it, it. Mm. and you know, God works in mysterious ways, <laughs> yes. what happens is, when we are going through a challenge, mm. somehow you don't realize that the challenge has actually ended. Mm until maybe something else comes and you say, hey, but how did I go through the other one? Yes. So I believe that that <coughs> seven sorrows, because mm. that time things come down and life was back to normal. That was okay. about, about 10 years ago. Wow. So I still uh, keep my rosary mm. and uh, How I wish for, we had this rosary for, here to show <laughs> to our dear viewers. <laughs> I still pray. Yes, of course it has the it has this instead of the of the, the seven of the ten of the ten uh, beads mm. ten ten it has seven seven okay uh, seven times oh. seven times standing for the the, the seven, the seven sorrows. sorrows each okay. each sorrow as a mystery okay yeah so oh. the seven sorrows is you see the rosary of Saint Dominic mm. is the rosary of the the story of the life of Jesus okay. But the seven sorrows is the story of the life of Mary. Of Mary. And if you see the life of Mary in mm. the Bible, mm. there are many of the times is about the experience and which okay. experience talks about the sorrow. Okay, so the ones you told us earlier the about seven. these, the seven, the those seven. are the ones we recite on that seven yes. sorrows rosary? Yes, that's the one. That, wow. Yeah. Wow, thank you so much, brother. So uh, we, we see that uh, this rosary, uh, through the devotion to it, it acquaints us uh, so much and uh, we get to get various experiences we can tell out to our dear friends, to our dear viewers out there. Mm -hmm. So how relevant has this uh, Seven Sorrows Rosary been in today's world? How can it help uh, a person today who is going through suffering, injustice, and uh, all uncertainty? Okay, thank you, sister, for that. Yes. One of the things that I think we fear as uh, human beings is suffering. Yes. And yet, as a human being, mm. we shall all go through suffering. True. Uh, somebody one time told me, said, Ha, you are a legionary. Mm. And you're going to suffer. I said, <laughs> really? why, why should I suffer? Really? I'm a legionary. Hey. Then another one said, No, of course. The suffering is to help you go through okay. a process. Actually, suffering is purification. Yes. Uh, many of the saints go through some pain for mm. them to, to, to become, become saints. It's not a, a smooth road. Mm. But many times, suffering brings us closer to God. Okay. That's why if you go to church, mm. you will find people praying and they will say, we have... Mm. If the pain is not there, there are very few people who come to, to thank. Mm. But, exactly. yeah, but even those who come to thank are thanking because they were going through a process. A person, yeah. So today, people have so many challenges. And I want people to take it that these challenges are meant to help them mm. become better. Better, yes. It's kind of a purification process. Mm. Mm. But also a... a the suffering helps you get more closer. Mm. The more you suffer, mm. the more closer you are mm. to, to God. Yes. The more pain. So when we see Mary's pain, when mm. we see the pain, I think the closest person to Jesus mm. is Mary. Yes. Why? Because she really suffered yes. for Christ. Mm. And Christ gave her that reward, okay, since mm. you have done this, 
you need to be closest to me. Yes. So that is one of the things that we should learn today. So in all the challenges, in all uh, that we go through, mm. we should reflect and see, but Mary overcame this. Yes. Mary overcame uh, the people I had escaping to, to Egypt. I, I know they passed through the desert, maybe mm. the cold, yes. maybe the heat. And all remember they were just on a cold. Yeah, so mm. you can use this in whatever situation you're going through mm. and see, yes, this. And I think many times even when we suffer, we forget the when, 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 um, when Jesus was lost mm. and Mary went back to look for him, to look for him. Mm. and Mary said, but we have been looking for you. Yes. The response Jesus gave. <laughs> Indeed. Said, you know, Jesus, you know, he had know? his own responses he know? used to give to Mother so Mary. In, also in our situation, sometimes mm. we are like, but Jesus, we have been, I say, but don't you know mm. that I was in my father's house? <laughs> exactly. Yes. I mean, that is, that is the response mm. that you should get. Yeah, they from. are praying and you're like, yes. but Jesus, and you're hearing my prayers yes. as I'm and dedicated. Says, no, I'm in my father's house. <laughs> yes. My father's house that will give you everything. Mm. So many times mm. we, we, we forget yes. that Jesus is in his father's house. <laughs> True. And True. We, we, we start running mm. everywhere. You're looking, we're looking for, for miracles, yes. immediate miracles. Yes. Okay. And Jesus is in his father's house. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Thank you so much, brother. So, uh, with this, ha, um, how do these seven sorrows inspire us to uh, become more empathetic and supportive towards others, especially those who are in suffering? What, do we, what can we copy from a Mother Mary's virtues and her seven sorrows to pass on this support to others, to our friends who are suffering? I, one of the things that we need to do and mm. appreciate is one to understand why God created us. Yes. What is the role? Mm. When we are teaching the children catechism, we tell yes. them that, you know, uh, God created to know him, to love him, to mm. serve him. Yes. And then the reward of going to live with him in heaven. heaven. Mary understood this. One, knowing God. Mm. So, and for us, knowing God is a daily thing. Yes. So we need to know God from all the sorrows that she went through. Yes. Many of them were helping her to know God. Mm. Then to love him. So okay. when you know God, it's easy to love to him. Love because him. Mm. you actually know who you love. Yes. Then serving, mm. serving God. Mary understood her role, mm. the role of giving birth to a son who was going to be the savior of the world. Okay. Now, saving the world was not going to come as an easy task. As an easy task. So yeah. also in our daily lives, mm. we need to appreciate that everything we do is mm. for the service of God. Mm. But the service of God does not come on a silver plate. Yes. We are not going to because we are serving God, everything is going to know. They, mm. You have to go through some kind of challenge. Mm. But also, need to know who sent you, who is your... Who, who, who's, so you, mm. you refer back. So yes. whenever things I think would be hard for me, mm. mm. she would go back to the son and say, mm. my son, things are not Easy. well here. Yes. And then the son would respond. Yes. And uh, you can see at the, at the wedding in Kana, Yes. She had to she go had to, to him. Go, go she had to, to him approach say, him. You know, things are not right here. Yes. She didn't go to anyone. True. They, 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 there was the wedding. She had the choice of going to the wedding organizer and say the wine is finished. Yes, but true. The problem, that's where the problem was. Mm. So many times we need to understand who has sent us for the mission. Okay. Whose work are we? It's like if they give you your working here, mm, mm. when things are difficult, you don't run outside to tell people <laughs> that. You see, my work is hard. Yes. Go back to the one who has given, who you, has the given you that work and say, mm. I think this, is, this work is hard. Can okay. you make it easier? Or So one of the things we need to learn from the sorrows is, mm. one, there will always be challenges. challenges. But two, 
when how do we address our challenges okay do we go out there and make mary never mentioned anything true she never complained she just she never, kept all all of these yeah. uh, sorrows with for us you soul. get a small flu and then you start <laughs> making noise what i don't know what i did to you <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, you start making all kinds of complaints to God True. Mm. just because of a flu. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Wow. It has been a wonderful hosting you, Brother Francis. Uh, thank you so much for this great, uh, great uh, discussion with our viewers out there. But before we bring our, our program today to an end, uh, please uh, send your regards out there to someone. <laughs> then after that, we'll have a closing prayer and I'll give the closing remarks. All right. Thank you, sister. And yes. uh, thank you for, uh, for this uh, opportunity. Yes. I thank the senators of Uganda mm. uh, that uh, allocated Queen of Peace. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Namugongo. Mm. Queen of Peace is a... A, a unique presidium. Oh, we really? We have equal number of men and women in the presidium. We are about f 16, and oh. the numbers are almost equal. Really? Uh, so and it's very hard to find men, men. now <laughs> in the legion in the, of Mary. Yes. yes so Usually the, the women, is, is, are, the ladies are always exceeding that. Yeah, because women. they understand, they understand Mary more. Okay. On, from the motherly, yes, uh, motherly uh, perspective. Yeah, mother perspective. Mm. But I think also the men just fear to, to meet. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so Queen wow. of Peace. So I, 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 I will send greetings mm. to, to the members. We would have been more, mm. but uh, because of, uh, of the program and mm. the people, people are a presidium, many of them are, are working and okay. could not make it. Mm. Yeah, but and encourage them to continue doing the good work. Mm. We were assigned to do some work in Karamoja, mm. in Moroto specifically. Okay. And uh, yes, we thank Senatus for assigning us the work. Mm. Uh, so, uh, greetings to the officers of Senatus. Okay. Yeah, thank you for inspiring us. To all our spiritual directors in Namgongo, yes. um, our parish priest, uh, the priests, uh, who give us the sacraments, who mm. help us. You know the beauty about um, working with some of our priests is when you're doing your work and then maybe you need a priest to go yes. and anoint a sick person mm. you visited, they are always there. So uh, I want true, to thank them true. for, and the, the word that they feed us daily. Mm. Uh, I also greet, send greetings to my family, uh, mm. my wife okay. and, and children, the children at school. Yes. Um, yeah, I run a mentorship program for oh. the ch children, okay. uh, especially during the holidays, and want to encourage them to come, okay. uh, to come this holiday, mm. so that we learn to become good people, to learn to become these virtues we're talking <laughs> yes, about, exactly. resilience, mm. uh, uh, compassion, compassion and all uh, these. These yes. are things that we need to teach our young ones True. to come and 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 um, and learn some of these things when they are still young. Uh, yes, and exactly. lastly, the community of, of Choto, uh, oh. uh, where I pray from, mm. uh, most Sundays, the community for giving us the time. Okay. I've told you that it's a place you should visit. Mm. Uh, if you want to come and reflect, have your retreat. Come yes, and have, I'll surely yeah, come. Please. I'll surely come. Yeah. Otherwise, thank you very much for yes. hosting us and hope to come back when you invite us. Okay, brother. Yes, our dear viewers, it was nice uh, talking to you about the seven sorrows of Mary. And in conclusion, and our discussion today, understanding Mary's role with regards to her seven sorrows has revealed to us that though we are passing through a lot, though despite the challenges and the struggles we are in, we should always be faithful. We should have faith with us, trust and trust in God because with this mother mary used this to to get to go away with all the sorrows she she had so she was a quite a quiet person she accepted these sorrows within herself and so as we are as we are also reflecting on these seven sorrows we are reminded that we should let our mother mary's our guidance uh, guide us uh, on to our personal and communal lives and also may we pray that we find strength and inspiration in her unwavering dedication to god it was great 
great having you watch us today on our program. And until next time, may God bless you. Bye-bye.